Okay, boys and girls. Okay, guys, we're here live and direct from Rotterdam with another live stream. And this one was not planned, but um, <clears throat> as a lot of you might know, especially in Holland, yesterday uh, there were some uh, extra measures taken uh, that uh, confirmed that um, we're on lockdown till June 1st at least, um, which also means every event's cancelled. Um, yeah, there's a shit ton of stuff going on. I mean, and this, I mean, for us, maybe it concerns our part of it, the music biz, but I mean, it sucks for everybody. But still, it's fucking important that we follow the rules because if we don't, it's going to take longer and longer. So, um, um, yeah, like Prospect, we've got some stuff coming up. Of course, we've got the Hong Kong Violence Prospect Def Chant dates. Well, both of them have already been replaced. We've got new dates. We'll post that tonight. Tickets will be valid still, but if you want your money back, of course, you're going to get it back, you know. Um, uh, we're working like dogs. Everybody's working like dogs to try and kind of, like, make sense of it all and, and you know, get on it as soon as possible, as soon as, like, the band's lifted or if we're allowed to do stuff again and it's safe again, of course, we'll be back full force, you know. But anyway, so I was, like... I could not sleep last night, I'll be honest, you know, um, the news came and uh, and I'm just one of the millions of people who this concerns. It concerns like for us, all the artists, of course, everybody, all the promoters, you know, everybody keeping this music alive is fucked at the moment. But we'll all we'll pull through. I'm pretty damn sure of it. But I mean, yeah, you know, compared to the stress of like. I know people work in hospitals, doctors, et cetera, et cetera. It's, of course, it's still nothing, you know? I mean, they're the real miracle workers. For us, it just sucks. For other people, it's, like, really serious, especially if you are sick, you know? I mean, uh, so, yeah, let's just not feel sorry for ourselves. We're lucky to be alive in this damn age where you've got the interweb, you know, where we can communicate with each other, where uh, um, we're not isolated completely, you know? Um, which I think is a very good thing. So yeah, I was awake all night, couldn't sleep. I think around 4.30 in the morning I gave up, went into my living room and I was like, just, I don't know, going through some records. And I was like, you know, fuck it. I haven't played vinyl in so long and it was bringing me back memories of why I even started doing this stuff because as a lot of you know, I, I'm just this punk rock kid that wanted nothing to do with like, electronic music really to be honest I just wanted to be a rock star I failed that mi miserably but uh I guess I tried to make something of my life and found a new passion um <clears throat> in hard drum and bass and in hardcore and when Prospect started um yeah it was a hard drum and bass event but we were straight away trying to push the boundaries you know trying to throw in yeah you know industrial hardcore stuff like that which in time became a genre of its own of course you know but we're you know going back 18 years now um things were totally different you know and like i started uh, on the drum and bass side of things and yeah pretty fast started to throw in the hardcore other people worked the other way around i know id and hidden have been i think the most important artists in holland in pushing that sound in the UK, it's people like Halfish and Producer that have always been, you know, on the forefront of fuck the rules and, you know, crossing genres. And uh, I think with Prospect uh, from a very start, that's what we've been trying to facilitate and uh, what we love. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to... Um, so, yeah, when Prospect started, I was not even DJing. But because I had an idea of what I wanted... Um, that's why I picked up turntables, you know, because I was still playing in bands. I'm playing bands again now, you know. But I picked up the turntables not to be a DJ, but because I knew what I wanted to hear at the parties. And that's the reason I started DJing. And what I'm going to do now, and it might suck because uh, <laughs> I've just flipped out a bunch of records. Some of them are, uh, yeah, at least 18 years old. And the beer on them is at least 18 years old. I did not have time to clean them. Uh, but I want to go through the stuff that I got started with like 18 years ago when I started DJing. So 
uh, kind of like a trip down memory lane, maybe even throw some of the first prospect stuff in there, but that's not my focus, actually my focus is the sh shit that I digged. And I'll start with the like most mellow stuff that I didn't really DJ myself, but uh, which I did really like. And for the younger generation listening, I mean, Neurofunk is a big hype at the moment, but that's been around for like 17 years already, or 18 years, you know? And I'm gonna start with the Neurofunk sounds of 18 years ago, so you kind of like get an idea. I think the first record I'm gonna put on is from 2002. Then you can definitely hear where they got it from. Gradually build it up, throw a ton of Amens in there, some old tech itch, shit like that. Let's get the party started, you know? And uh, if you're, um, yeah, if you're in the chat, just drop stuff. I'll try and read it sometimes. I'm actually gonna put it on now to see if I can read it. Give me a sec. See if I can actually see myself on YouTube. My channel, see, I'm so well prepared. Okay, I guess I can see what you guys are uh, saying. So, uh, yeah, don't be uh, selfish. Share the share the stream. You know, let's do this. If I fuck up, I'm sorry. I'm a bit rusty. I don't know half of these records anymore. And uh, but fuck it. Who cares? You know, we're just gonna have some fun. Okay. Eighteen years old, this one. Thank you. 
Golden Oldie by Cause for Concern. They used to be one of my favorites. And uh, yeah, we missed the dude. mistaken. True fucking neurofunk, man.
it's an old face tune, big up face, fucking legendary producer and a legendary person. off my neighbors so the volume's super low here which makes it a bit more difficult to mix but we'll handle the shit. <laughs>
as I said, starting slow. We're gonna get on the Amens later, don't worry. And definitely throwing him some noisia. Come on, Holland's finest. for concern Matt oh, yeah what to say biggest fucking loss in the scene rolling it out there. and Blacks in Empire together. It's gonna get better.
And again, cause for concern. Killer. To all involved, thanks for watching and uh, share the stream. Share the stream, much love.
you notice one, you're true fucking... Incoming. Bit rusty on the gaps, but fuck it. Stuck in a Skynet. Coming, my all time favorite drum and bass tune ever made. No joke.
Psych by the legendary Cause for Concern again. Both tracks on this record are fucking insane. to the second drop and anybody that knows me knows that says a lot and that fucking right. Psych by Cause for Concern. Just so you motherfuckers know.
And if you don't know this fucking tune, come on, tell me what it is. was technical itch and Kamal the calling.
Oh my god, Counter Strike fucking kill. <laughs> One's Africanism, must be fucking 15 years old. ready to go fucking old. I mean, this one is before many of you were even born. Old Ram Trilogy.
course I'm gonna drop the nine. I have to drop the nine off. <laughs> up there. Conflict. sound of piss and beer and spit and semen and blood on records that have been lying around for 20 years guys I'm sorry about that
one's dedicated to Wilfred. He pr I promised him to play this one prospect track. This is by Audio and Math, an old one. Dig deep, but I found it. Nocturnal on Prospect. Pretty damn sure I never played this one. Uh, for many of the new followers of Prospect, yeah, the sound we started with was just fucking dark, rolling, Amonish drum and bass. Uh, and gentle, you know, of course, years back we got the extreme going and everything. Tonight's but entertainment. Prospect stuff, audio. And the next one is a request. Nocturnal used to release on uh, Renegade Hardware as well. He did one track for Prospect. Pretty fucking killer.
chase his status when when they were still fucking. <laughs> Another fucking oldie. Okay, you know, I haven't played vinyl in years, but I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. I could actually do this for hours. Pretty fucked up. So that's life now. But uh, if you're uh, up for at least another hour of the shit, let's fucking do it. Because we're gonna, of course, go harder. It's just a start, you know, it's foreplay. <laughs>
Uh, Dart's not here, so I gotta rewind this one myself, but this is a fucking tune. I think when this came out, this was probably one of the hardest drum and bass tunes out there. I mean, the kick drum. Just think of it. This is at least 18 years ago. Sentient by Bad Company. Here we go again. Fuck it. <laughs> I can't read everything while I'm mixing, it's going so fast. So if you got a re real request, type it a few times.
try and look for some raiding for you guys.
So, you guys, just one question. Has drum and bass become harder or a bit softer these days? Forgetting about guys like Lion Wax, DJ Hit, and fucking Sinister Souls. Actually, I think all our crew. <laughs> Yeah, incoming fucking subject killer. <laughs> Limex has always been a don. He fucking owned this shit since he was 15, man. Still be a dawn if Prospect did not exist, I can tell you. I'm not taking any credits for him. By these, by hidden, of course. It's fucking blueprint. My drum and bass collection is a mess. I don't know where anything is. It's not alphabetical. <laughs>
remember this one. I think it's time to, you know, uh, go a bit more filthy. What do you guys say? I'm gonna throw in some more Amons. Man, I got most of that shit here on vinyl. If it's like 15 years or older, I got it, but. I need somebody here to help me fucking sort this shit. I'm by myself.
for some lime wet. Sin and keep smiling. I 
life of sin. I live a life of sin. transition but I need a drink uh, blacks and empire true heroes of Holland uh, thanks for tuning in guys you know let's make this whole uh, staying inside thing as fun as possible right
going down, motherfucker. Come and count strike an ID to grind.
fucking classic, right? I never do rewinds, but fucking hell. Thumbs up if this one deserves a fucking rewind. Such a killer track. Never in a normal set. Fuck that. But you're right, I'm contradicting myself. Most of these tunes I haven't heard in years, so I'm actually pretty fucking inside them to hear them myself, you know? This was the drum and bass I fell in love with like 18 years ago. Fucking tune by Blackson Empire.
So, you guys still alive out there? See you're not giving up on me? <laughs> the sun conquered dawn. Actually, I'm going to try and find that one for you right now.
shut it down for a sec. I need to grab a drink and a cigarette, but this one will play.
Yeah, audio at its best. Why do you cling to such a pathetic existence?
For the downforce tip. Immediately, without warning. And this is why people have died to keep this secret, and why the government will never divulge it. Never.
first track I ever heard from Counter Strike. <laughs> I'm dying. That's like 80, 100 years ago, because you know, Justin Counter Strike, he was born in 1920 already. He looks great for his age.
Mark N. There's only one Mark N in the fucking world. Legend. I'm having trouble even understanding turntables. I haven't played the shit in years and I don't know any of the tunes, so bear with me. Becoming a bit sloppy, but man, trust me. Now it's just going through vinyl that's really only got scratches and beer on it. But it's all for the love. It's meant well. to test. Where the fuck is Beaky gone? I miss it. We <laughs> used to have the most killer fucking shit Beaky back in the day. Agree or don't agree? Thumbs up.
Russian crack block. Killer Chungo.
should I just go through some prospect classics now? As we're doing this anyway. Prospect 7 by DJ Hidden.
fucking dead, super tired. Um, everything's starting to break on me. I'm broken myself. But it was a pretty long session, right? Or not? For a bonus, I mean, you know. Hey, um, yeah, 7 p.m., then it's the serious business, because this was me just fucking about. I hadn't played these records or heard these records in, well, fucking long. But some of them are bangers, right? These old drum and bass tracks, I have to admit. I mean, uh, brings me back to the good old days. I mean, of course, the vinyls are all broken and they're scratched and shit like that. But I do love the energy of the old drum and bass when it was all just dark and evil and broken up and there were no fucking rules. I say let's bring that back. Well, Limex's new album is all about that. So I'm going to do some promotion here for that. Um, I'm going to leave you with one track. and Everybody knows it, but still, for me personally, this was like the first drum and bass hit that really like did it for me like back in the days and like when I heard this one I was like whoa this is so fucking badass it's by Bad Company everybody knows it's a nine but let's just rinse the nine out from begin to start and they get ready for Limewax seven o'clock and uh yeah keep safe you know as we said we're doing these streams every day um this was a little bonus somebody's calling me but fuck them I'll call them back I'm gonna put the nine on and then we're gonna be done Sorry guys, I'm fucking dead. But yeah, I didn't sleep all night as I fell. So <laughs> Prospect is about, right? Who's talking without you hearing me? <laughs> Sorry, wait one sec. I, I'm so tired, I don't even know how this shit works anymore. Okay, anyway, what I was saying, um, I'm fucking dead. But thanks for tuning in. I'm surprised you guys watched this shit. Because in the beginning, I, I got it, but at the end, I just... It's, hey, after a million years of playing only on USB, you have to work, man, on vinyl, and especially if they're all fucking really messed up. I was thinking of selling a few on Discogs, but uh, they're not exactly mint condition, I can tell you, so we're going to give up on that. Hey, um, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for tuning in. 7 o'clock tonight is going to be super special. Uh, Limewix is doing a fucking really special set. He's going to be dropping all the tracks of his new album of Prospects, so definitely check that out. And uh, we'll keep you guys up to date on anything rave-related, prospect-wise, of course. Uh, tune in every day as we have... So many great artists playing. Tomorrow is uh, Somniac One playing. Uh, Thursday, Adam and Scream. Friday is my birthday bash, but I'll be doing something totally different and much more serious, of course. Of course not. And then Saturday, I think we even have two shows. I don't even remember who's playing, but it'll be fun. So tune in every day. We're going to try and keep this alive and, and share it, you know. We love you guys. That's why we do this. Um, uh, we're all in this together. Fucking sucks being locked indoors. But yeah, that's life. Could be worse, you know? War would suck way more. Just think of that. And if we all keep the keep inside, maybe the shit will be over sooner and we'll be able to rave together again and get wasted together instead of by yourself. Because I'm starting to feel pretty depressive. Like pretty pathetic even. Like drinking by myself. I never used to do that. <laughs> 
Okay, well, much love. My all-time favorite drum and bass stream that everybody knows, and then we're out of here. 7 o'clock tonight, Limewax. <laughs> of the fucking best this one people we ain't stopping you know they can stop us from raving it's fine but we'll be back
Yes, yes, that was it. The nine bad company. What a fucking tune. Those days, man. I feel fucking old. I am actually. I'm. I'm pretty fucking old. But you know what's great? Great music still gets produced every fucking day. You know, and some of them, they, they're just anthems, and they just like fucking. They don't have like a shelf life, you know, like this one. Drop this when I'm 80, I'll, I'll still be fucking head banging in my uh, in my wheelchair. What about you guys? Do you get what I mean? <laughs> okay. Anyway, much love. We love you. You know that. Um, keep the scene alive. Keep the music alive. Take care of each other. And tonight it's all about, you know, actually my adopted son, as most of you know, Limewax, who is probably one of the most talented people I know. One of the most fucking annoying people I know too, but I love him to bits. <laughs> He's just, I don't know. It's just Maxime, just, just one of them. But tune in for that, okay? Tonight. <laughs> 